think all of us, when we're young, we look for that thing, right? That thing we can do that maybe our friends can't or, or the thing we can do that we can be the best at. And I, I think we look for that identity very early on in our lives. And for some reason, this thing just grabbed me. In eighth grade, when you're about to go to high school, uh, there was a little form that said, you know, what do you want to take? And then I saw this extra selection that I wasn't quite sure what it meant. It said computer science. I had no idea what this meant. I was a freshman in high school. I sat down at this teletype, typed the word run, and it clacked out on a roll of paper, because that's the way they work. It said, hi, Rich. I could see in that moment a future for me. By the time I arrived at Michigan, I had 11 years of programming experience. I remember skipping over the first class into the second. The TA pulled me aside. He says, you can't do that. And I said, why not? And he says, you're going to get crushed in this class. I said, well, I've been programming for 11 years. He goes, doesn't matter. You'll still get crushed in this class. He came back a month later and apologized to me. <laughs> So I launched a career in Ann Arbor. Started quickly to see cracks in the industry. 2001, all taken away when the internet bubble burst. And that was the moment to start the company. We named the company in honor of this building. Actually, this building recreated by Henry Ford as a means to inspire the young. We have on posters at Menlo a sign in the room that says, make mistakes faster. We can make small mistakes quickly and learn from them and correct them before they kill us, or we can make really big, slow mistakes over a long period of time. Having everyone in a big, open, collaborative space together, working together, solving problems together, is education. I have so enjoyed my time here as the entrepreneur in residence at the Henry Ford. This place did for me what I believe Henry Ford wanted it to do for you. Thank <laughs> you.